Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You wanna be where you can see Our troubles are all the same You wanna be where everybody knows your name What's good YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today. And as you can see there from that introduction video, today's video is actually gonna be all about cropping in Fumorex, courtesy of Miss Sonia Elaine. A few weeks ago, Miss Sonia actually left this comment on the video that we had. And as I told her, we definitely, definitely can make a video on that. So I wanna thank her definitely for this video idea. And when you have time, definitely head on over to her page and check her out and show her your support. She's almost at 1,000 subscribers and definitely would love to have you join her family. She does a great job at mixing it up, showing love to her family, her hobbies, food, and her channel is just really all about positivity and having fun. And I'll have her link down below in the description. But if you've got time, let's go ahead and head on over to the lab. I'm actually going to break this video down here today and walk you through my thought process throughout. And again, of course, we're going to demonstrate exactly how you can use cropping and of course pan and zoom within your videos to just give you that little bit of edge that you may need with that idea that you've got. Let's go ahead and head on over. Cropping is an editing tool that allows creators to choose what part of a video or even an image that they want to be visible. It also provides a way to get rid of things on a screen that you may want to hide. The timeline that's shown here shows the actual output file and all the elements for that small video clip we had there in the intro. The only difference is we've added the original video clip here to demonstrate this very first feature. To do anything with cropping inside of Filmora X, simply highlight the video or image segment that you want to edit and then click on the cropping icon shown here. This will bring up the crop and zoom window where you can make any of the edits that you need to do. When working with cropping, you need to consider what part of the segment you would like to show and again, what aspect ratio you need. So for example, if we needed to zoom in on this part here, the box will show what will be displayed and visible in the video. You can also preview it here to see if that's really what you want. Reset, of course, brings it back to the original full screen. If you need to do anything custom, then simply click this drop down menu, select custom, and now when you move the handles, you see that that aspect ratio isn't maintained. So if you wanted to just highlight the A, for example, you can do that. But of course, because this is being filmed in widescreen, you're going to have that extra area there that you're going to have to worry about. And in Zoom takes this up an extra notch. You have two windows here. If you can see the start and the end. Whichever box is highlighted in blue, that's the area that you're going to be modifying. So if we wanted to start full screen and end on this hat, keeping the aspect ratio 69, we would simply modify the end window there. And the movement, of course, is going to go to the left, as shown here. So the idea that I had here was really just to think of an idea for a video that was going to be between 10 and 20 seconds. So I simply recorded myself taking a bite of a burger from Fridays. I knew that that on its own wouldn't really show any creativity. So I started thinking about ways to incorporate cropping that would give the video a little bit of pop. Later on, we will also discuss the sound, which added the final touch to this video in my opinion. But if we go ahead and hit play, we'll do a quick overview of the video. We have the title bars there that of course zoomed in to give it the cinematic effect. And here, right here, we froze there on a snapshot, a zoom in, and now we're zooming out. And it goes right back into the video there after the snapshot. Here, of course, are just four quick crops, which gave it a zoom in effect. Here's the opposite of that intro, zooming in instead of zooming out. If we hide this track here to get rid of this simple black box there, you see that the video actually starts with some of my face revealed before slowly opening up. So if we click on this image here and go to crop, you'll see that in our pan and zoom, we started zoomed in and we ended in a full screen. So if we just go ahead and cancel this 
reverse this. This is how this originally would have looked. Started full screen with just an end screen there. So to achieve this effect, we use this icon here, which swaps the start and zoom so that we could finish full screen. Now to expose our face slowly and to give the appearance of those black bars slowly fading, we couldn't maintain the 16 by nine ratio. So we went to custom. We dragged our bars as low as we could get it and as wide as we could get it across the full screen. The green arrow shows where the motion's going to be. So it would move up if we left it there. It would go down there. So what we want to do is find the spot where we don't see the arrow at all. And there you go. So previewing that, this is what you get. So that's how we took care of that very first piece. So we'll cancel out of that. And again, to hide our face, really all we did was go up to media, sample colors, and we dragged down a black file. And just resized it just long enough to cover up that intro to give the appearance that it started in a full black screen, as you can see here in track two. Let's go ahead and play around with that and reveal our sample clip. The only thing that I would caution you against, and we noted earlier, is to consider how fast or slow you want that bar to appear. So wherever that is, just simply find that sweet spot and do a split. So if we take it all the way here and split, come back in and do that same thing. And you'll see that it takes a long time for that clip to open up. So that's what you want to consider is how fast and at what point do you want the video to be fully exposed. The next part of our clip where we use pan and zoom pretty heavily is right here, where of course it changed to black and white. We took a snapshot there and started zooming in a bit, froze there to bring in the title on beat, and then we zoom back out and started the video again. So to achieve that, all we did here, let's unhide this first track. Let's go ahead and lock everything else in place. As we went ahead and split that file there, clicked on this snapshot icon, drag that snapshot down into the timeline. Then we change the length to 10 seconds. That gave us enough time to bring in all the elements that we had going on there in that section. The three splits that you see here are needed to pull off this effect. For this entire clip, let's click on crop, pan and zoom, start at full screen, of course, and let's just go ahead and start zooming in there on ourselves. As such, click OK. Now let's just find a spot where the zoom got us a little bit in. Split that there. Now to freeze that, let's go to the second part. Go back to our crop. Now we want to start where it currently is. So let's flip that. And so once we get to that second clip of slowly zooming in, at that point, this is where we are. So now let's go ahead and take that and go back to crop. And it maintains that position. And we click OK. So what I mean by that is it hasn't finished going all the way across this track to finish at that end point spot. But we've zoomed in just enough to freeze there. And because of what we just did, the rest of that track is going to freeze. So now to zoom out, we just find a spot. Split that. Click on that segment. Go back to pan and zoom. We're going to start where it's frozen, but let's click on in and let's go ahead and bring that full screen. So that's how we achieve that. We'll go ahead and play it back just to show. For our next piece here, we'll simply click on each of these segments and take a look at how the cropping showed up. 
Again, these are all individual crops, and we use the hat as a baseline or a reference point there. We just zoomed in a little bit left to right on the next one. Again, the hat is the reference point, and we brought it up a little as well as in. A little bit more here on the third. And on the final clip, we pretty much got the full face there and stayed zoomed in until the next clip where we need it to zoom out. We used the same feature that we did there on those snapshots where we started with the reference point of where the last clip ended. And then we, of course, ended back out into full screen. The last element here is just the video playing before we, of course, go into our outro, which is simply the reverse of how we came in. So instead of zooming in, we're actually going to start full screen. So instead of zooming out as we did in the intro, we're actually going to start full screen and we're going to end zoomed in. And we simply used our reverse tool again there to do the same steps that we did here at the beginning. And to bring it all home, we simply had to consider what tunes we needed to go with this. And as you can see here, we'll drop this original audio file down below. This was the full clip. So all I really did from that famous Cheers theme was to simply find the spot, of course, where it said, where everybody knows your name. And in this clip here, we just simply lined that up with this middle piece where we brought our name in. Everything else really just played out perfectly, especially here with those zoom in on the original file where the beat drops there. So now that you have the thought process behind it, let's go ahead and see it one more time and see if you can go ahead and pick up on those cues. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You want to be where you can see Our troubles are all the same You want to be where everybody knows 